Hey guys and welcome back to another one and today we had one of the latest displays from Philips. This is the Series 5000 curved display 34 inches ultra wide with some really interesting features including this right over here. Now at this moment I've got Windows and we can work with Windows, Mac OS, Linux and so on and so forth and if you haven't activated your Windows license yet I will leave a link down below for cdkeysales.com which is a platform that we have been using for the past few months where we'll be able to find official OM keys at an affordable price. I will also leave a coupon code with 30% discount which is RJC key so there will be a link down below just in case you want to check that out. Now regarding the Philips 5000 there will also be a link down below it has some awesome features it is 3440 by 1440 which is wide quad HD at 120 hertz. It is a VA panel and this was the first thing that surprised me because I needed to go to the specification sheet to check out if it was IPS or VA. A few years ago it was really easy the latest displays from Philips are not that easy to see if it's an IPS or a VA panel. There are a few differences but the main one is that IPS has better viewing angles than VA. VA has better refresh rate than IPS in a general manner having a balance in terms of price for the consumers which I'm included so this is the main difference but if we take a look at the color reproduction the colors are really bright vivid and then the angles that we can see even in extreme angles the color shifting is really smooth now we can notice if we are paying really attention but at extreme angles that on a normal usage we would not use. So probably this is the most important feature on this display. Image quality for a VA panel is just awesome. In terms of the display itself it comes with this support which is really sturdy. Actually everything inside the package was easy to assemble including the stand or support. It's just a matter of screwing one screw and then we can put it on the display and that is it. We will be able to rotate the display 360 degrees and this is the first time that I can achieve this with one display. Full 360. How useful it is I'm not really sure but it's the first one that we have with that feature. Besides the 360 we also have the inclination with a really nice angle as well. By the way if we don't want to use the stand we can just use the visa mount on the back and put it on the wall. So sturdy, robust and with all the angles that will be necessary to use. The design overall is subjective as always but Philips displays usually have this line which is discreet, it's elegant, the bezels are thin, are not the thinnest that we have seen but are not the thickest that we have seen as well. I do believe that there is a nice balance right over here in terms of the bezels with the chin which has this nice texture and then the Philips logo on the middle and the menu buttons right over here or the logo for the buttons right over here because the buttons are at the bottom. Now at the back we will have most of the connectivity. We will find HDMI 2.0, DisplayPort 1.4 and USB Type-C. We will have 100 watts to charge our laptop so we will not need any power adapter for our laptop and it also has a USB hub so we can connect all the devices that we want to the display and then when we connect our laptop to the display with one single cable we will have everything including Ethernet for example which we can connect directly to the display and then have fast speeds on our laptop using just one single cable which is awesome. Now besides those connections that I've mentioned we can connect other devices using the RJ45 for the Ethernet for example that we have seen. We also have two USB type A and one extra USB type C for data. So if I want to connect an external hard drive I don't need to connect anything to my laptop. All I need to do is connect to the display and then with one single cable I will have access to the external uh, storage or any other thing that I do connect. Now if this type of connectivity is not enough 
on the right or on the left side sorry we also have two usb type a and one usb type c besides the audio output the display itself has audio built in and i would say that if you are using it for work and for music while you are working that will be more than fine if you are using to work and gaming which is a awesome display for gaming then i would suggest either a pair of speakers like the ones that i've got at the back and you can't see right now or your headset. On the top of the display there's this webcam which is really well integrated. It records at 1080 with 5 megapixels and it's great if you want to do any video conferencing or if you want to do a gaming session. But if we don't want to use then we just press it and we can hide it. So this is the webcam integrated on the Philips Series 5000 which has a microphone built in thing and you can see easier is to run the monitor and the which might be useful for or for those game sessions. So it's a display with all the characteristics of a working display, productivity display, and in my particular case, I do see those advantages. I have enough space to run one single app, for example, with a timeline, like video editing or similar apps. So I will have 34 inches available to work, or if I want to split the display, I can split in several ways. One of which is four ways and I can use four different situations, apps, browsers and so on and so forth, which is also awesome. Of course, we can do it in three ways, two ways, depending on what we need. And although it's targeted at productivity and work, if we want to turn it 180 degrees and play some games, either on our PC or on our gaming console, especially the new generation PlayStation, Xbox and so on and so forth, which will achieve at least 120 Hz, then this display will do the job. Especially when we are playing games or any other content with a 21 by 9 ratio, which is just beautiful we get really immersive in the game that we are playing i did play forza horizon 5 and also overwatch 2 and the experience is just awesome the display has some really nice colors and then this curve really helps to enjoy the display and get immersed really easily instead of playing a few minutes we will be playing a few hours and having a lot of fun now besides gaming if we want to watch any kind of content we will be able to watch 16 by 9 which is still the most common content but once we try cinematic 21 by 9 then we will take full advantage of the display so great image quality and great immersion right over here at least the experience that i had for the past few weeks in terms of the menu we are used to philips menus really simple to use with all the options that we have i will leave some links right over here on the top if you want to check more in detail the monitor menus that we have seen on previous videos but we will find all the options for image sound and so on and so forth there is one option that i always try to check out on any display which is picture in picture and picture by picture really useful for those that use more than one computer more than one operating system so we can put two inputs on this display and use them at the same time which will increase our workflow and this is something that i do here at the back so it's something that i really appreciate on any display especially on a ultra white and that being said in terms of conclusion in my opinion this is one of the most complete ultra wide displays that we have seen so far technology is improving improving and philips is taking advantage of that to have a great display a great design in terms of build quality and then giving a great connectivity making this display great for work but also great for gaming and entertainment that being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Huerto George, today with the Philips Series 5000 and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.